Hi, and welcome back to Carving Up the Trails. I'm D. Uh, Carver's not with me today. Him and my wife went to go watch one of his cousins at her recital. So I'm kind of solo. But we're doing something a little different. I don't know how much Carver would have enjoyed it anyways. We're going to review these little Lucy Core Lights. Um, my wife and my kids got me these. I think it was for my birthday back in November. And I've used them a lot lately. Um, they're great little lights but before we get into the lights let me tell you a little bit about the company that makes the lucy core light that the company's name is empowered um, empowered is a really unique company uh they it's called a they have what's called a b corp and every single light that they sell part of the proceeds goes to trying to impact third world countries or countries or areas that have been impacted by natural disasters and what they do is through that b corp and the money that's raised by every single light that is purchased uh any donation that is given through their website every single ounce of money that goes into this charity foundation that they have is geared to giving lights to third world countries or countries impacted by natural disasters. But this is a great corporation, uh, great charity work, and just the idea is, is awesome to me that they are providing light to people that have never actually had electrical power before. Um, it's a great, great way to spend your money in my opinion and on their website they have an area where you can donate i'll try and put it up on as a screenshot here um, but onto the light itself this is the lucy core light uh, my wife got the two pack if you buy the two pack it's a little bit cheaper i believe uh, i'll pull up the exact numbers and and give you the exact numbers on what it is for the dual light or the single light but they, like I said, these are the Lucy Core Lights. They have a, a wide line. They have inflatable solar powered lights. They have these lights. They have string lights. They have a good variety. And these are fantastic camp lights, but they're more than just camp lights. I've used these on blue here. I've used them on my wife's car. Me and Carver, if you watch the, uh, the beta series, you've seen us using uh, the Lucy light to light up the the engine area where we were replacing the stator and I'll go around and show you different things that you can do with it you know one of the things about Jeeps especially the new Jeeps is if you're trying to work in the engine bay and you're out on the trail there's there's not a light in there um, but you can't use a magnetic light because it's an aluminum hood so this is fantastic you can take and hang this thing and all kinds of different orientations you can wrap it around the hood prop and bend it if you need to work on the battery say say your battery's dead and you're trying to jump it you got a light you can light that up you can work on your you know your air box you can work on anything on this side of, of the of the hood area just by wrapping it around the hood prop um, and you know i know a lot of people they don't even use the hood prop so if you don't use the hood prop but you still need light put her all the way back here and you don't have anywhere to ground it to there you make it just into a little stand here and you so you can stand it up, wedge it in there. But it, it'll go anywhere you need it to go. You got, I see, you see, I got a wedge right here above the fuse box. Um, and you can come all the way over to the other side here. You know, you can wrap it around the power steering uh, reservoir and use that as a base. These things are great. I, I love mine. I've used them all over the place. Um, my wife's forerunner, the light isn't the greatest under the hood, but at least they, at least she's got one. But I can take and wrap that thing around anywhere in 
the hood compartment and light up anywhere in the hood compartment that I need it to. And let's just be real honest. If we're out on the trail, we're probably not going to have a whole lot of stuff going on under the hood. We're going to have a lot of stuff going on under the rig, right? That's where most of our our failures and our repairs are going to need to be done. There is no light under here. But again, wrap it around a cross member. Point it wherever you need it to go. Like, if I need it pointed back in the back to where I can work on something on the differential right here, right above me. I can put it wherever I need it to go. You know, just feed it around. And there you go. Got pretty good lighting right there. It'll stay by itself. I can get all the way up underneath here. I can get all the way up underneath the, the motor. I can hit all of my cross, uh, all my control arms. This is where we will use it the most. And because of the little tail, we can wrap it around until it's gonna stay where we want it to stay. Exactly where we want it to stay, all right? All right, now let's get down to the specs of these little lights. Um, I did go and look it up. I got some cheat sheets here because I can't remember all, <laughs> all this stuff. But if you get just one light from the empowered site, it's going to cost you $19.99. If you get the two pack, they'll cut off a little bit. It'll be $39.90. Of course, that's going to include shipping and, um, and taxes and things of that nature. But you do save a little bit of money getting the two pack here. Now, what do you get with one of these little lights? Well, you get the actual light and then you get a charging cord. You don't get a charging base, but you do get the charging cord that goes with it. You just take and pop it off up here where the, um, where the power button is, and then you just line it up, plug it in, charge her up. Now, once you get that sucker charged, it's gonna run you for a good little time. Uh, battery life for these on low, you're gonna get about 12 hours of light out of this. Uh, I haven't tested the low or the medium, but I have used it on high underneath my house. Um, I had to get up underneath there and, and fix a, a piece of ducting that fell out from, under, from underneath the house there. And I went underneath there, I was working around for probably about 15, 20 minutes, came back out and forgot to turn it off. Well, we ate supper and all that good stuff. I ran to the store and came back and it was about an hour and a half. So it'd been on for close to two hours. And you could see that the light power had diminished a little bit, but it still lit up pretty much the entirety of the quarter of the house that I was working under. And it was right about three hours when when it finally died out and i had to grab the other lucy light and and finish it out uh underneath the house but it, these do last on high for right at three hours i'm talking about if you've got it fully charged it's going to last you right at three hours uh, medium it's going to be uh right around seven hours and then in, if you have it on flashing of course i don't know why you would have it on flashing for six hours but that's what you wanted to do you could have that sucker flashing for about six hours that's what the website says now on to some of the other specs each light is going to contain three of the cool white leds um it's a real nice soft light um it's not blinding it's not a glaring light it's a really pleasant light um but that it's going to emit about 40 lumens is what the the website says and it and if you use the little usb charger it's gonna it's gonna charge the 450 milliamp hour batteries that are in these it's gonna take about one hour to fully charge it and it that's what it takes um when i've done it before it's taken right at an hour to fully charge it and then it, you're good to go um if you're going to use the solar panel it's got to be in direct sunlight 
Sorry, I gotta check on Bree. She's over there playing. Uh, but it's gotta be in direct sunlight for about 13 hours. Um, but they say you can get it charged in 13 hours and run it. Now, if you're not gonna use it for an entire time, like if you're out on the trail and you, it's not, that's from fully dead. Um, but if you take and just put it up in, in the dashboard of your Jeep, leave it in direct sunlight for eight hours, you're gonna have enough light for what you're gonna need just to move about camp and get up in your tent or have it on while you're getting things set up in your tent or whatever like that. Um, the little arm on these, it's 13.8 inches, um, but about 13 inches is gonna be what you're gonna use because you're gonna have some hanging off there. They're really light, they're really portable, um, 5.3 ounces. They are somewhat waterproof. It has an IPX4 rating. Um, when, when you go to pack these puppies up, you can take and roll the little tail around and hook it in. And that's how, that's how small it packs in. I absolutely love these lights. Um, I grew up playing with flashlights and doing all that good stuff. These by far are some of the absolute best lights that I've ever had. And the part that I love the most about these lights, I don't have to go find batteries for them. I plug them in and an hour later, I'm ready to go. Instead of having to go find a C-sized battery because who keeps those in their junk drawer? Or even better, a size D battery because nobody really leaves those in their junk drawer anymore. But everything's pretty much going to the USB cable. now. This, you'll have to take their cable. It's not a USB-C. I don't know exactly what you would call this. Um, it's like the old LG plugs. If you had an old LG phone, like the old flip phone, that's what I remember having one of these for. But, you know, keep, if you get the two pack, keep one at home, put one in your rig. You'll always have one wherever you're going to need it. This is my kids bathroom uh, probably the darkest room we have in the house um, we do have other lights we have one in in there so it, it does get kind of bright in here this is with our LED fan light on we have our our vanity light and then we have a can light can LED light over the top of the shower just to kind of give you an idea all right now let me find the light uh, there it is. All right, that's with just the low light. Um, I can see whatever I need to do in here. I can't see super great, but it's going to be good enough that, you know, you can move around at night. Uh, if you go medium, it gets a good bit brighter, but then you got the bright. And now it's not as bright as my overhead lights were. But this is bright enough for camp or in a tent or something of that effect. I can come over here to the sink and I could brush my teeth and shave if I really needed to. Like I said, are amazing. This gives you a good idea of what it looked like. Um, and if we did both of them on high in here, then we would definitely be able to light up everything that we needed to do in this room. So the long and short of it is, is I love my Lucy Core lights. It's one of the best gifts that my wife and my kids have given me. Um, I love it for camping. I, but I'll be honest, I've used it more around my house and working on my cars here at home than I have at camp. Um, but these are phenomenal lights. I would recommend them to anybody. I love the company. I love what they're doing. I love what, what their motivation is. Uh, you can get them at empowered.com. Um, remember, one light is $19.95, I think it is, and then a two-pack is gonna be $39.90. It does save you a little bit of money, but these lights are definitely well worth it. And then also, if you would like to donate money to their cause, even without purchasing their, their products, they do have a link on their website uh, for you to be able to donate. All right, so we've got a couple more reviews coming up here soon, so just stay tuned for those. Um, 
go ahead and like subscribe hit the bell do all that youtube stuff that really helps us out uh right now we're looking at i last time i checked the youtube algorithm stuff the analytics about 60 to 70 percent of the people that are coming and watching our videos y'all aren't subscribed just go ahead and click that little subscribe button for us um i we're hoping to bring in some, a lot more uh, exciting content here coming towards you soon um i know it'll make my little boy's day if he gets more subscribers uh, but go ahead and hit that we would really like to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year by december uh, so we're going to continue to put out videos so just go ahead and like we said like subscribe do all the youtube stuff and like carver always says always stay outdoors